welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing, uh, I guess it's a little different than a normal video. I'm going to be making, I guess, making a diamond painting canvas, kind of. Um, it's not really a canvas, right? But making the print, I don't know, the canvas that we are going to diamond paint on. So, I don't know if you remember long, long ago. Um, I had, uh, I got this Heaven and Earth designs here with these nine, um, different pictures here. I have already diamond painted these two here and, um, so I still have, what, seven more to go. So I'm, I actually printed out the pattern here of the last three here because the, the design is like that. So then I was like, okay, the bottom three are probably the easiest ones for me to do. So I was doing them on a blank canvas before, but I have since Diamond Painting Between the Lines, who I don't think has updated her channel in months, had like, um, started printing out the these <laughs> the patterns my gosh my words are not coming to me today Printer, so um, started printing out the patterns she even figured out the percentage that you need to print this the, at least the heaven and earth designs to have them be the correct dimension so um so like if you have one of these diamond painting rulers you will see that if I zoom in, can you see, zoom in more, like, if it'll focus, is it focused? I can't tell for my little screen, but it fits the ruler, so it gets printed the correct way. So, what I have been doing... is I was printing them, I was doing them one by one, and then printing each of the pages one by one, and diamond painting and then putting it together at, after the end. But for this one, since these ones are gonna be a little bit less than 40 by 50, I was just gonna put it all together and make the canvas. instead of doing them one by one and all that stuff. And um, I am going to, I have printed this right out on regular printer paper. So this, I have printed this out on regular printer paper and I'm um, just gonna put it together, but I am going to laminate them um, just so that it's a little bit stronger and not just regular paper. And, um, and yeah. So I did print this bigger, um, 100, it's 100 108.1% of the PDF. I had someone leave a comment and say that theirs would not print on a single sheet of paper without any, with issue, without issues. I don't know, my printer, it's fine. See, look, it printed the whole thing all the way there, but I could see where some printers, this might get cut off. So I don't know what to do with that other than perhaps the overlap would work. So even though this gets cut off, the, you still have some of the pattern on the next page and maybe you can make the, them still work. I don't know. I, I All I know is when I print it, it still fits. But yeah, someone has told me that their printer cuts it off. But yeah, I would just get the PDF, print it 100.8% of the original, and it prints it out this way for Heaven and Earth Designs. I, I can't speak for other ones. Um, but I, I have been laminating them so that it's a little bit stronger, and plus it will keep the print uh, protected, I guess from the next part, which is adding some sort of adhesive. So first I'm gonna do a whole bunch of laminating. Um, I don't know, depending on how long this takes, 
I might only do one. So, if I only do one, see, this is why I was like, see, right now, this is, so this is that other picture, and then here's that picture, and then there's the following picture. So that's why I was like, eh, maybe I should just print all of them at once. So I have some laminating stuff here. And I'm actually going to only print laminate it on one side. So I could laminate the whole thing, but I thought that would just be too, too thick. And you don't have to laminate it, but I, feel, I like this. You could just use like cardstock or something, but for whatever reason, I like it this way. And I've done a couple of the smaller diamond paintings this way. I mean the smaller cross stitch patterns. Why am I having a hard time doing this? Um, it's because I'm on camera. I swear. I go on camera and bad things happen. There. So I have my laminator over here. It doesn't seem like it's ready yet. The green light's not on so I guess it's giving me time to do the next page. Oh, it's ready now. I pondered, was like, should I just laminate them all before the video? Or just make this a really long video? I was like, well, this could be a really long video. Because <laughs> that's how I roll. I don't know. And I actually was also going to try a couple, put them together and try a couple glues. Like, I was using double-sided tape, um, and I, I was going to try using this glue. Aileen's tack it over and over. Oh, and I also got this glue, which I have not tried yet. I don't know what it is. It says two-way glue. But... I had looked up, um, what do you call that? I looked up my, I had looked up words are failing me. I looked up I looked up glues that help clear, um, that glues that would help restick the um you know the cricket mats you know the the mats for the cutting machines and that glue showed up so i figured if it was good enough to make a like kind of temporary stickiness as the cricket mats that it would work for diamond paintings you know where it's still sticky but So that's where I found this glue. So I haven't, I don't know what it, I don't know, I don't know if it's going to work, but I figure I'll try it, try it on camera. And worst case is if it doesn't work, I could put some double-sided tape on this. take a while. It's actually kind of getting warm in here. I'm going to take off my sweater. Okay. That's done. 
next one. <laughs> you didn't think you were when in a diamond painting channel you'd be seeing you'd be see, you would be seeing someone laminating stuff, but hey, why not? Why not? What's nice is laminators are relatively inexpensive now, and I don't know, have they always been relatively inexpensive and I just had zero reasons to get a laminator until I saw it on sale for less, less than $20. I think it was like $16, and, and then it came with like 20, 20 pockets. What are these? These laminating pockets, I don't know. I'm gonna call them pockets. Laminating sleeves, sleeves. It came with 20 of these and then like for this this one I got it's not the thickest laminating material but it was like ten dollars for another 100 so and then since I'm splitting one sleeve for two pages then it's actually not that expensive to laminate all these Man. There. More things too. Man, I'm, I think this year I might not diamond paint too many regular diamond paintings because I'm gonna, I, I really want to, to do more of my, more of my heaven and earth designs ones. So yeah, this might be my year of cross stitch conversions or something. Cause I've done several already. year of cross stitch conversion okay. I hope the last page doesn't have a pair okay I have I have I have some that I haven't um, I don't think I've laminated yet in one of my other ones, so I'll do that. So this is not the whole pattern for that Heaven and Earth designs because I'm only doing the bottom three pictures. So I only have like one more sheet of paper left. But I know in my Little Red Riding Hood one, I hadn't laminated everything yet, I think. Did I not laminate everything yet? No, I did. I'm going to pause and print out up one of the other pages. All right, I printed the page before. So this is on the, this is in the picture, this one here. So I was printing out the three. So just so that I have something else. Oh, I didn't put this through the laminator, oops. Could have had that going through while it was printing.
next? Okay. Um, all the stuff laminated here. So I'm just going to cut them out. I was re relaminating it, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna just just going to just do the one. So this is page forty-eight. Here's forty-nine. This is 40, no wait, oh no wait, the page, this is 47, 49, oh yeah, that was an earlier page. Just trying to keep track of what, what page these things are on. I did laminate them in order. So that's 46 and there's 45. Okay, this one is closest to the edge, so I should pay attention to that one more. curled up. And I'm going to have to cut these things also like by itself, like with scissors, because I'm going to have to cut closer to the edge and I don't trust my, my ability cutting with this thing, with how close it's going to be. I'm going to have to cut. So 
So yeah, I think this might be a pretty long video. Assuming I do everything I set out to do. 38, 37. cut that badly. Hope I don't think I cut anything off though because that's the top. So not too many things. This is why I said I wouldn't trust this to cut closely to where I'm gonna put things together. So this might seem a little bit more work for um, putting together the canvas than just putting something on Pattern Keeper and using a blank pre-made canvas but I think the having the pattern in front of you will make it much faster so even though this part is slower because you have to set it up I think ultimately it will still be faster okay 29 This is that other page that's not part of these ones. Okay, so if you look at the picture here, there is a lot of black. In fact, the last pages was all just black. This, this, this symbol here is the black color. And um, so I'm like, so every there's gonna be, there's all this like excess black here. This is all black, and that's just all of this here. So, huh? I'm wondering how much black border do I want to put in between the pictures, or like five rows? I think so. Right now, so one, two, three, four, five. Five rows seems like a good amount. But that will get, I'll get to that when I get to the top. Well, there's a reason I'm talking about that is because I do, I am going to cut them apart. So, so like right here, if you see this here and then over here is the end of the next one and the beginning of the other one. So I'm going to take them apart a little bit, but I'm going to put them together first. I'm just trying to uncurl it. So I'm trying to think of like the best strategy to do it. So first up, 
So this, this here will go on to here. So what I'm going to do is cut off, do you see there's some white edge there? I'm going to cut off the white edge. And this is why I said I wasn't going to trust So this, this part here is the end. So that's like the bottom of this one here. So what I was planning to do was I was thinking of what I was doing before was just using double sided tape. So that's what I think I'm going to do. So. The question is, am I putting the double-sided tape on this here or on something else? That's a good question. So I think I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna put it onto this cause it'll be easier. So I'm gonna put, the double-sided tape onto here. To stick it on, I could probably I should probably put a bigger double-sided tape. I could probably get away with the bigger one, like so that there's more place to. Then I was just gonna stick it on. So what I was gonna do was I was gonna get some some washi tape here to help align it once I line it up. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but let's see. Probably not. Nope. It doesn't seem like. Let's see. Probably should have just lined it up. If I just do it slowly. Okay. Maybe it might be easier to see in this direction. <laughs> I was trying to like line it up, but I couldn't see where I was lining up. So as long as you can see where you're lining it up. There. So. I think that's all lined up. Yeah, that works. So I don't think I need the washi tape. Okay. So now the next page here. The next page here, this is why I was pondering like how many extra to the black to add because there is, but I feel like I could probably just cut it nicely here. There'll be plenty of extra black to figure out. But yeah, there's, see this is all black. <laughs> this is a lot of extra black. So. 
there. Apparently, I can see it better if I go this way. Oh, wait, I need to cut this off. It does kind of matter it does matter to line it up because you know the drills are only yes big right so hopefully you line it up relatively well so that I don't know how well I did that one mm. yeah I'll, I think it'll tear so <laughs> so this is the bottom Right. So this is the next one. So let's just keep going. Three ten. Side of the tape there. And Seems a tiny bit off at the top, but as long as the drills fit, I think it'll be okay. Okay. All right. So this is the middle of the next one. So.
need some Now it will it is going to be a little bit thicker over here where there's um more than one but since it's just regular paper with a relatively with only one um laminating sheet it's not that big like it's not it's not like super it's not going to be it's not that noticeable how where the bump is so i think that will work out so 240 to 230 it's easier for me to see it from this way for whatever reason feel like I need to because it's curling up so much I need to tape this to my table so that it doesn't move that's where I was going wrong before. That's the bottom of that one. So next up, one plus, all right. gonna tape this to my table since it was harder to hold on to it when this sheet was coming off to put this one in there making sure okay hopefully that will still fit okay together next and then this is the edge because that's already zero right there that's because it's 10 right there so this is the edge of the other one So yeah, my plan was really to diamond paint it and then only add five extra rows for the black. Because all of this stuff is black. Oh, I forgot to put the double-sided tape down.
there. It's probably better to err on the side of giving yourself a little bit more space than to go too little because you don't want the drills to pop off because there's not enough gapping or whatever. But yeah, here's the bottom of all the others. So the next page here, this should be next to here, 520, okay. The, ne the, the next page is going to be trickier, trickier, because um, I'm going to have to put it onto two. The, so this is the last of the relatively easy pages. Yep, this is going to be the last of the relatively easy pages. This is why I said this next one is going to be harder because now I have to tape on two edges here. Okay, this one's going to be the hardest one. Well, the next one will be hard too, but they're all, but uh, yeah, like I said, the edge ones are going to be harder because now now there's two edges I need to match. Not just one. I'm going to only do one at a time. One edge at a time. Okay, so I think I might need some tape again. I'm 
I'm just going to do this one first. like I cut at 350 so let's cut it at 350 I just realized I don't need all of this well we'll figure we'll figure it out Later. Okay. So this one also will need two places where it will match. And I was doing this before where there were drills on it. But that this is the, the this is the main reason I didn't want to diamond paint all the way to the edge of the thing because putting them together I thought would be easier and you would not see the seam if you didn't diamond paint it until after you put it together. But since these ones are going to be relatively smaller, I, I just figured it would just be better just to put it all together. It wouldn't be too bad to do it. Okay. Oops. I already covered up that So we actually have almost the full thing here. You can see the girl here. There's still just a little bit more at the top.
Yeah, see for see it on the thing that's also says like 47 it says 47 right here. I don't know how much you can see it. go here okay I think I need a little bit more tape here. Let's hold that down. Next one, I did a 
to the 180. But yeah, you can see why I decided this one would be a nice one to show. One, they're not that big. And they're actually some of the oldest stuff in my, in my, it's my oldest heaven and earth design. Maybe I should, maybe I should do one. Well, I'm going to have three ready to go at the end of this video. Well, yeah, this is going to be a long video because I'm going to put glue on too. Or should the glue? Yeah, that's not gonna, it's not gonna take that long to put the glue. Famous last words. Okay. But yeah, this um, laminating it makes it flexible enough still uh, to to fold still, but strong enough that it's not just gonna tear. Well, it might tear, but I'm not going to try. double-sided tape so much. <laughs> Okay, this is probably the worst matchup I've had so far. Um, I don't know if you can tell the lines are not exactly straight. Oops, right here. So, yeah. Hopefully, <laughs> that won't be so noticeable when you put diamond painting drills on there. We will see at some point. that to the side but I mean I had done the other diamond painting this way too and you can't really tell where they weren't a perfect uh, they were not a perfect match because there were ones where they weren't a perfect match okay. so this one is gonna go here But yeah, there's going to be ones where they're not going to be a perfect match. And it was not that noticeable uh, when I did my last Heaven and Earth designs where they weren't perfectly lined up. <laughs> did you notice? Did you notice I messed up? I 
I wonder if it also has to do with the difference in the print where it's not exact where you know the calculations could have been good enough but not perfect you know because it happens because some of the white was, for whatever reason, showing up. Did I toss it? well okay next 570 to 10 got it tape because it's curling
there. Woot woot. So, I don't know if you can see, there's some girl there, I think. back to this one now because now we're putting in the last bit so now the last bit I only have a, just a little bit left of this so I'm gonna cut it out over here so I'm gonna put this away here because this is actually in the one at the top so I'm not going to do that one so so that so this that would have been like part of this one here instead so we're not going to do it okay so this is going to go over here easier for me to see it like this here because that's going to go here Next one I, I had cut out four fifty. Then this one. Okay, no, this is not the right one. Am I on the wrong thirty? Oh wait, that's thirty-three. I should I should have this one. Yeah, no, this is right. Okay. Okay. This will be for the other one.
there and there. One last portion, at least for this one. Okay, right there. So I'm cutting it at 350. So let's just cut this at 450 first. I should have cut this earlier, but I think I just need to cut here. there. Okay, this one is actually the whole picture now. I don't know if you can see. It's kind of like a mystery diamond painting, right? So that's this one here. This last one at the corner. But yeah, it's relatively small that I'm probably going to cut this, most of this, off at the edge here. Oh wait, you don't see the whole thing. I hope you could see my table here. There. It's kind of, it's like I said, it's kind of like a mystery diamond painting, but hey, look, it's, it's all there. Let me this is the next one. This thing is like right here.
my washi tape is not that sticky anymore. Whatever. Okay. It's gonna go here. Okay. Where's my tape? There it is. Oops, I was going to go well down way too far. I was like... So I was, I'm put, I've been put, I don't know if you've noticed, I've been putting the tape where this grayed out section is, and that's the part where it's, um, it overlaps between the two pictures. Next. This one. just make my canvas for everything now like I was I was just making them as like putting them together after I put it after I diamond painted part of it but I think this might this is probably not too bad to do to just make the canvas already it's relatively flexible this paper stuff so I think it might work You could also probably just cut it straight and then try to stick them together and just use tape, like clear tape, because you're going to just cover it with adhesive anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm doing it this way.
Okay, and then I'm going to cut Apparently, I need more tape. Okay, so this is going to go here. Okay. I'm thinking I should have just done this with just regular like scotch tape. <laughs> I think that might have worked too. Just clear tape. Should I do it for my last one since I am talking about it? So yeah, here's this one here. Looks we can see the girl right there. Okay, let's try the tape thing. So some tape, some clear tape here. It might be easier. So let's see if I was just giving myself a hard time. And instead I should be this Let's see I was giving myself a hard time when I could have just been using regular tape I apparently suck at using tape. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yep, I, I could have just been using regular tape. I don't know why I was using the double, why was I using the double sided tape? I don't know. But I could have just been using regular, plain old, boring, boring, boring tape. But you know, it only took me an hour and a half to get to this to this point to just use plain old boring tape instead of double sided tape. boring tape works just as well as double-sided tape but for whatever reason I was fixated on the double-sided tape Was it? I don't know. I don't have any real reason why. I don't know, maybe the double sided tape was easier. <laughs> sheet that I'm putting together then we're gonna put the glue Thank you. 
I was also thinking of instead of laminating to put all the pieces together and then cover it with um, contact paper, clear contact paper. <laughs> but it hasn't, I haven't done that yet either. So this is the Right. <laughs> Just took a while, but it's now all put together. Now, now we're going to put the glue on. And I said I was going to put in five um I was going to put five of the black around everything. So five of the black would be one, two, three, four, five. So the last two rows are going to be covered. So I'm just going to cover the stuff that I'm not going to put glue on with tape. So that the glue won't go on it, hopefully. Here, five, let's see. That looks to be the end there. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, okay, I can see what I need to go. So, these might not all be the same size. But I didn't feel like it was necessary to have so much excess black. So I'm only going to put five rows of excess black. Yeah. 
see. Where does it end? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Gonna not need all this excess stuff. This, there's gonna, I'm not gonna diamond paint past this this line here. You see, I'm going to. Okay. So I'm gonna try this thing here. This is. It says two-way glue. See, it says uh, glue is blue when wet but turns clear when dry. Um, wet bond. Okay, let me see. Bought this on Amazon. Okay. Oh, it's liquidy. Okay, so it says here Dry bond, temporary bond. In a few moments, turns clear after drying, giving it a temporary bond. So the I don't know if this is gonna work, but this is what some folks use to re-sticky their silhouette mats, you know. So I thought, let's give it a try. I don't know. So it's, I got the fat chisel. So how easy is this? Oh, it like kind of does a, like a plunger. Okay, I don't feel anything coming out. Oh, I see, it's blue. Okay, so it should be blue. Okay, let's see. It hasn't come out yet completely. I'm hoping it'll be obvious, okay. Okay, so I see blue. Can you see it's blue? So I thought this would be <laughs> much easier to do than the aliens tack it over and over, but... And I think I might have to put in more than one layer. This is actually pretty easy. Um, I was gonna let this dry and put another layer on on after it dries so i was gonna like stop the video stop recording and come back like after a couple hours kind of the blue kind of helps me figure out if i've gone to a place although it turns clear relatively quickly But I might, I'm, I'm probably going to put it in two, two layers. I don't know how much how much glue this has and how many this will be able to cover I 
I should be doing this more systematically. This is actually kind of entertaining. Don't don't ask me why it's entertaining, but it is. Okay. I think I've gotten everything. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry. I don't know if I should leave this to start each pen, push the tips, replace the cap if glue comes. I'm just gonna put it down this way, leave it that way. Okay, I'm gonna move this somewhere else. Let this dry. Now this other one. I'm just gonna glue two of them. The third one will, will, well, I'll glue that whatever way is ends up being a better way. Either that or just use double-sided tape because it's easier. Okay. So. why it does kind of look like this in the back. But, okay, so let's see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Oops. down to the last bit of this masking tape. Okay, I think I'll still be able to go do the whole thing. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe I was wrong. Oh, my only other masking tape is this 
big masking tape in here. I'll just use the big masking tape. I'm going to use this here and I'm going to use this to spread it out. I have, I have one of these that I specifically rolled glue on it. Can you see it says glue? Um, because I used using that to spread the glue. Hopefully not being flat is not going to be a problem a little bit. So glue. I don't know if I have that much left of this. I might have to buy more. Do I have to poke the hole a little bit better? things our tweezers are used for. Okay, yep, there you go. I'm probably gonna put two layers, maybe. It's hard to tell. how thick this stuff is. I'm not I'm not a professional glue putter glue. No, I got it onto my table. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I should have had stuff under my table. Maybe I should just use a paintbrush. Is that would that be easier? See, this is why I was just using double-sided tape. It's uncomplicated. Met less messy. I think this is why a lot of the AliExpress places use the double-sided adhesive because you don't need special machinery, I think, to to put it on. You just need people who are good at rolling the double-sided 
adhesive stuff. Yeah, it might be easier with the brush. We're gonna just try this, because this is what I'm doing now. Okay, I think that's how much I'm gonna glue it and I'm gonna let this dry and put another layer tomorrow. So that's all I have for now, but I'll see you a little bit later. All right, well, it's actually been probably about two weeks since the first part of the video. <laughs> so, okay, I and I did not add any more layers of glue because, so this is the one using this here, the, this, this glue here. And yeah, I think it's the one, yeah. The one, the other one, yeah. This is this is the one using that glue. I did just put in, this is some cover paper plastic from a diamond painting that I just keep. So I put this on top of it and after it dried, I let it dry for like one overnight and then the next day I covered it. And I decided not to add another layer because it seems plenty sticky already see so it did take on some of the characteristics of the plastic but I think this this one it seems sticky enough see so 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 I I won't know how good this is until I actually diamond paint on it so but for now that's what I have for this one and then this one I use the Aliens Tacket over and over. I think doing it again, I might use a this brush instead of my um, straightener tool that I did, just because I could tell there were certain sections that were more glued than others. But I only did just that same level that I showed on camera. This one's a slightly nicer plastic I found. Um, but this seems sticky too, so I did not add another layer. So, and I won't be able to tell you how good it was until after I diamond paint it. So yeah, now I just have to somehow make it lie flat Should I start folding it. <laughs> but yeah, so I have these two ready to go. So I think I think after I finish the current Heaven and Earth Designs one that I'm working on, I might work on one of these and it should be much faster. And I'll test out whether I should just do it this way or... I'm do it the way I was doing it before where I was doing each page individually. So I started... For this one, I started diamond painting the whole thing. I'm going to see what happens if I um, combine the stuff, you know, combine it without leaving the extra gap, and we'll see if it'll be obvious that there's an... <laughs> I was kind of afraid of doing it that way because I didn't think it would be able to line it up without the drill like being obvious where it lines up, so I guess we'll see. So I've done some of these pages already. So this is the one I'm working on. It's that, it's the little red riding hood. So.
But yeah, these ones should be regular, kind of, kind of regular diamond painting canvases ready to go. All right, so that's all I have for this video. So it was a long one, although for me, the, the previous part was like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I don't know. I'd have to look through my records. But all right, so that's all I have for today. So thank you very much for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.